So, who is Colby Covington? Ah, what's up, nerds and virgins? Colby's a really bad person. He really is. See, Colby's a terrible person. I've been telling you guys. Colby, you're a little too far. Way too far. Take your gaze off, bud. You look like an idiot. I don't sell out like and Colby Covington. He's a big mouth f***ing idiot. The feud starting fighter who fans love to hate. Where you at, who's been? Where you at, Street Judas? Colby Covington is an American fighter who competes in the Ultimate Fighting Championship UFC in the welterweight division. He's known for his aggressive fighting style and his outspoken outside the octagon. Let the whole world watch and, you know, let them enjoy themselves. Kind of like what Dustin does when Connor's in bed with his wife. Covington has generated controversy for his statements about various groups, including his criticism of professional athletes who support social justice causes, his derogatory comments about women, and his use of racial and ethnic slurs. I should have knocked him out! Brazil, you're a dog! All you filthy animals suck! Colby Covington, my God! In addition, Covington has been criticized for his persona, which some view as manufactured and designed to generate attention and publicity. This is a real championship belt. I'm gonna do what a real American should do. I'm bringing this belt to the White House and I'm putting it on Donald Trump's desk. Despite the controversy surrounding him, Covington has been successful in the UFC, winning the interim welterweight championship in 2018 and earning a reputation as one of the division's top fighters. However, his actions and statements have also led to criticism and calls for the UFC to take action against him. From Wrestling to MMA In 2006, Colby achieved the 171-pound state championship as a senior wrestler at Thurston High School in Springfield. Despite committing to Arizona State University, he opted to attend Iowa Central Community College due to his subpar test scores. As a true freshman, he claimed the 2007 165-pound National Junior College Wrestling title with an unbeatable record of 34-0. During this time, he shared a room with future UFC champion John Jones. After graduating in 2011, Covington remained active in wrestling and grappling and even won a gold medal in the 2013 Bila Grappling No G World Championships. He was recruited by Dan Lambert to join the American top team to boost the gym's wrestling talent. However, his attitude was a recurring issue. Despite receiving promising opportunities, Colby declined them and expressed his desire to fight someone larger or criticized other fighters. UFC Career the start of Colby Covington's UFC career was a bit of a mixed bag. He won his first three fights in the UFC, which included victories over Max Griffin, Jonathan Mounier, and Brian Barberena. These wins showcased his impressive wrestling and grappling skills. However, after his third UFC fight, Colby experienced a setback when he lost to Varley Alves by submission in late 2016. Despite this loss, Colby bounced back and won his next two fights against Dong Hyun Kim and Damian Maya, both of whom were highly ranked welterweight contenders at the time. Dominance in UFC He went on to fight Damian Maya on October 28, 2017 at UFC Fight Night 119 in Sao Paulo, Brazil. In the fight, Covington relied heavily on his wrestling to control Maya and prevented him from implementing his renowned jiu-jitsu skills. Covington landed some ground and pound from the top position and was able to defend Maya's submission attempts. The fight was largely a grappling match with Covington being the more effective wrestler and Maya trying to sweep or submit from his back. After the fight, Covington called out the current UFC welterweight champion at the time, Tyron Woodley, and generated controversy with his post-fight comments about the people of Brazil. I should have knocked him out! Brazil, you're a dog! All you filthy animals suck! I got one thing to say! UFC Welterweight Champion Covington used his wrestling and striking to great effect, outworking Dos Anjos and dictating the pace of the fight. Despite Dos Anjos' efforts to counter and apply pressure with his striking and grappling, Covington's output and control of the fight ultimately won him a unanimous decision victory. Throughout the five rounds of the fight, Covington kept a high pace, constantly pressuring Dos Anjos and wearing him down with his striking and takedowns. Despite some moments of success for Dos Anjos, such as a strong fourth round where he landed several significant strikes, Covington's work rate and control of the fight proved to be too much. He won the fight by unanimous decision and Covington was declared the interim welterweight champion and was expected to face Tyron Woodley for the undisputed title. 
However, Covington was stripped of his interim title due to inactivity, and Woodley went on to defend his title against Darren Till. Losses to Kamaru Usman Colby Covington fought Kamaru Usman at UFC 245 for the UFC Welterweight Championship. Kamaru Usman won the fight by 5th round TKO, technical knockout, to defend his title. The fight was highly competitive and closely contended for the first four rounds, with both fighters exchanging heavy punches and grappling for position against the cage. In the fifth round, Usman landed a big right hand that hurt Covington and followed up with a barrage of punches that ultimately forced the referee to step in and stop the fight. Colby got a title shot again after he beat Tyron Woodley. Covington was dominant from start to finish, outstriking and outwrestling Woodley in every round. He landed significant strikes on the feet and also scored multiple takedowns throughout the fight. Woodley was unable to mount any significant offense and appeared to tire as the fight went on. In the fifth round, Woodley suffered a rib cage injury while defending a takedown attempt by Covington. After the injury occurred, Covington continued to apply pressure and landed a series of strikes that forced the referee to stop the fight and awarded him the victory by TKO. He earned the title fight against Kamaru Usman, which he lost by unanimous decision. The two had fought at UFC 245 in December 2019, with Usman winning via fifth round TKO in what many consider one of the best title fights in UFC history. This one didn't disappoint either. Usman nearly finished Covington with a huge left hands in the second round, but Covington rallied late, hurt Usman with a body kick in the fourth round, and landed hard combinations in the fifth. Usman outlanded Covington 123 to 107 in significant strikes. Covington's significant strikes were the second most landed against Usman, behind the 143 landed by Covington too at UFC 245. From friends to foes. They were once inseparable best friends, but Colby Covington and Jorge Masvidal settled their bitter rivalry at UFC 272 in one of the biggest grudge matches in MMA history. I lived in Maritza's house. I didn't live in your house. In Maritza house. paid the my bills. My house. Your children. Yeah, that's a good you one. Forget about your children, my, you my dead children. be Dead? Colby Covington claimed victory over his former teammate and friend with a unanimous decision win. The chaos officially has the bragging rights in a rivalry that turned pretty bitter during the lead up to the fight, with both fighters coming up through American top team. The two were once close but saw their relationship deteriorate and Covington leave the gym. Thank you for watching this video, we hope you liked it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We also appreciate your feedback, so don't hesitate to express your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. We'll be back with another amazing video soon, peace out.